Orlando police officers are accused of police brutality after the release of this video. An onlooker captures 30-year-old Noel Carter sitting on the curb, kicked repeatedly and tased by police arresting him, resulting in several injuries. He was being kicked, he was being hit, and he was tased while he, had, he was doing nothing. Carter claims he was having a disagreement with his girlfriend when police approached him and beat him before he ran away. I was shoved, I was sprayed, and I was essentially battered uh, prior to to any conveyance of, of what my disorderly conduct could have been. But police say that's not the whole story. What you see uh, in, the, in those seconds of that video is only a small piece of what happened. Officers David Cruz and Charles May say Carter was using physical force against his girlfriend, grabbing her, refusing to let her leave. Based on witnesses and officer reports, it is clear that Carter was intoxicated, resisting officers, uncooperative and attempted to flee multiple times. The officers say they tried to arrest him, but Carter fought back, arguing, struggling, even lunging at them as they tried to subdue him. This witness video taken outside the club shows Carter running from police, resisting their commands. As one officer tases him twice, another hits him with a baton. A third video captures Carter sitting down as the officers give chase. Then they kick, hit, and wrestle him to the ground. Carter denies the police accounts and is filing battery charges against the officers. You do not have to look at the totality to see the abuse that is done and the unlawful use of force by these officers. Carter was arrested on several charges, including domestic battery and battery of a law enforcement officer. His attorneys plan to fight those charges. There is an internal investigation underway to determine whether excessive force was used, but right now those officers are still on active duty.